Okay, uh, I'm going to in introduce um, the way of using needles in my needle medicine. So my style uh, got insight and wisdom um, from uh, Japanese traditional acupuncture. Um, this is a very classical style of Japanese acupuncture. It has many years of history. Um, so here in my style in Japanese traditional acupuncture, it uses needle, but it's in various ways. Uh, now, so in here, not only, not only needles are in get inserted in, uh, to the skin, but also just sometimes I use, um, uh, many times actually, I use a contact needling, and also depth can vary significantly. So it's um, just contact needling, not contacting here, just contacting here, not getting in. Or sometimes even, Kind of brushing if I just like this and in the brushing while brushing I can kind of rotate needle this way or when you rotate needle the other way it can change the effect efficacy also um, I use I tap the needle with the stimulating brushing quickly like this or I use other hand for cover the hole and regulate the skin. That's another way. So like this way, uh, I use needle many ways. So now I'm gonna show you some uh, technique while needles are, needles are on the skin, in the skin. So here, I'm going to set the point for needle insertion. For inserting needle, uh, you, want to be, uh, make sure, you want to make sure the point is appropriate for the technique. If you use uh, insert needle, the weak skin like here, it's actually not good. Like here, this is not a good point for insertion. So for needle insertion, you want to find tight spot. Where I feel something here. Yeah, this is a good point for needle insertion. So at first, touching, little by little, and like this. So make sure you don't touch the needle, needle um, where the needle, um, the needle get in the skin. So you don't touch here, but you can touch here, it's fine. So from here, you can go even deeply, Now I feel the breathing has changed. Can you hear the breathing change? You may see the difference in the breathing. So the skin is more, more up and down more, yeah, more clearly. So from here, I, when I just try to move uh, the needle move, uh, into the skin, deep into the skin, I feel resistance. This is a good point. So from here, I'm gonna add some manipulation and see how it goes. So now deep, um, the, the patient's breathing gets even deeper. Now. Yep. And you can leave the needle on in so you can take needles off. So I'm gonna decide if I should retain needle or not retain needle. And if the skin starts getting um, softer, it's, it's enough. Or sometimes needle, the skin around the needle can be um, getting reddish. Also that indicates that's enough. So otherwise you can leave needle on, on the skin, like this. So like this way, I decide, um, I always make a decision if I should retain needle or not retain needle. I don't always need retain needle without thinking of anything. Always I do assessment for making decision of my technique. So now here, I feel it's getting more, the tone is getting better. 